Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff. And this time it's another Dire Straits classic, Money for Nothing, the song that got me into playing guitar in the first place. So first I'm going to play with the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes. And then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note with tabs right here on the screen. It goes like this. Enjoy. So get your fingers ready and get your A string ready as well. You need to tune the A string, the fifth string, down from A to G. You need an open G bass okay, that you're going to play practically throughout the whole thing. Um, and the way to check whether it's perfectly tuned or not is to play strings 3, 4, and 5. This gives you a power chord, G5. It's the best way to tell whether it's perfectly in tune. Okay, if you play the second string with it, you get a G chord, okay? A whole G chord. Uh, this makes things a little bit easier, okay? So you have the open G uh, bass drone behind the riff, behind the melody, everything. So, before we get to Mark Knopfler, we need to take care of Sting. So you can play an open G bass, okay? Which is the fifth string now. And you play okay, five hammer-on to six or slide to six, okay, and then five again on the E string. Okay, five, six, five, and then six on the second string. I want my okay, and vibrate it, make it sound nice. Okay, you can keep both notes going. Okay, this is a guitar arrangement, you can keep both notes. Okay, and then I want my MTV. Okay, so you play the, 
the same notes, okay? And then you add seven on the third string, and then eight, eight on the second string. So you can do eight, eight, or you can do eight and then six slide to eight. Okay, so you get the same note twice, but with a different expression. Okay. Then you play the I want my again. And then you have the I want my MTV again, but with a different ending note. I want my MTV. Okay, so it's... And instead of eight on the second string being played twice, you play eight once and then five on the first string again. Okay, so you have this. Now, I like to play it as a chord because this gives me sort of a... Um, sort of a... Um, suspended sound. Okay? So, it's... Okay? And then again, and then again, and then you can just play any ending you want. You can, hey, you can give it your own dramatic touch. You don't really need to do much here, um, because then we have the best guitar riff in history, in my opinion. Um, well, I'm kind of <laughs> biased here because this is the song that got me into playing guitar. So obviously I would think that this is the best riff ever. And it is. Okay, now um, in the original he hammers on the chord. Okay, so you can hammer it on. Okay, if you want the acoustic feel, play the notes separately. It's the open third and fourth strings, okay? Strings three and four, G and D, and then seven and five on the same strings, okay? So it's G5 leading to G5, right? So it's this. Uh, you can hammer it on or you can pick both, okay? Now, strings three and four will be our playground for almost the whole thing. Okay, um, other than a bar that covers the fifth uh, string, okay, it's mainly strings three and four. So, okay, this is the beginning. Hammer on from zero to seven and five on strings three and four, or you can pick both. Okay, and then you play this twice, and then you do it again with a hammer on from five to seven on the third string, so you bar. Okay, and then six on the second string. So, okay, and then it's the seven and five again, and then it's just five twice. Okay, on both strings, and then okay, three and three twice. Okay, zero and zero twice. So it's five, three, zero twice. Now, the way to get the original sound going is to play the chord and then just the D string. Okay? That's the original sound. Now, we don't have distortion here, so we can't produce the distorted electric guitar sound. Okay? But when you play that D string again, it sounds as if we're playing the G string as well. So that's the illusion. You can play it like this. Okay? But if you play the D string, okay, instead of you get this. Okay? So one note keeps ringing while the other one uh, produces the rhythm. So uh, that's the beginning. Now you play the, the third and fourth again, okay, twice, and then three, pull off to zero on both, and then you play the open strings again. So it's, and then you have three to five, and then five, okay, you slide, okay, three to five on both, bar. And then you have the zero, two, seven, and five again. 
okay? And then you start with, okay, the seven and five twice again. Then you do five and five. Hammer on eight on the fourth string, on the D string, okay? And then hammer on to seven on the third. So it's a hammer on um, to eight on the fourth, hammer on to seven on the third, okay? And you pick both strings each time. And then eight on the, se uh, on the second string. And then it's seven and five and you pull off the seven, okay? To the bar. And then it's three pull off to zero on both strings and then you play the zero again. So it's... And then you have a choice. Because we're playing an acoustic guitar, I play the note, eight on the second string, so it's, but the original is a hammer on to the harmonic on five on the third string, so it's, okay, it's a hammer on to the harmonic, you can play the harmonic, okay, but this is acoustic and it doesn't produce the same result, so I prefer eight on the second string. And then you have the this again zero zero three pull off to zero zero and then you have okay because the a string is tuned down to g we need an extra finger instead of just barring so it's three and five on strings four and five slide to five and seven and then five and seven again that's the main riff then you play everything again the whole riff with the A bass tuned down to G, okay? You play the G bass drone, so. Okay, and then when you need three to five, the bar, you bar the fifth string as well. Okay, and then. And then it's the same ending. So the only difference okay, between uh, the riff without the bass going and the riff with the bass going uh, is the is the three to five with a bar on the fifth string as well. That's the main riff of the song. The verse is pretty much open to interpretation. Okay, it's open to interpretation, you can play it the way you feel it. The important parts are the, okay, the, the three to five bar, okay, so I play this. Okay, I play the open third and fourth strings with three. Okay, I... I just play it freestyle, so. Yeah, I just play around with it, okay? Just to give the feeling of the lyrics. So, uh, look at it, yo-yos. Okay, now, you can also play three and five on strings four and five. Okay, if you want a lower note, so. So just feel your way around this, okay? It's just three every now and then, and three and five just once. So. Okay, and then. Okay, it's the three to five again on all three strengths. Three, four, and five. And then you do the same thing. And you can also do. Um, Okay, you can do seven pull off to five on the third string for a high note. I do it the second time around. Okay, uh, seven pull off to five and then zero again. So, and then the second ending, three to five to five and seven on strings four and five. So the verse is open to interpretation, really. It's all up to you and what you hear at the moment. You can hammer on. Okay, 
you can pull off, you can slide. Okay? It's all up to your judgment. Okay? Just don't overdo it. Now, um, once this finishes, we have the chorus. The chorus um, has dual voicing, so I did my best to fit it in. So it's eight on strings three, four, and five again. So it's a bar on eight. Okay? So it's da 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 da. We got to install. Okay? And then it's this. Okay? It's a bar on three on all three strings, and uh, it has five three, five slide to seven, five three. So it's okay. You you can play the the chord with five and seven, uh, with five and three. Sorry, and then you let it go to have the slide, and then you play it again. Okay, so and then eight again. And then you have um, five, three, and seven again, but it's a different chord. So it's the three and five on strings four and five. Okay, so um, okay, I play it like this with my little finger on five on the third string, so I can okay, so I can lift it and have the bar on three. Important thing here is that the bass note is on five, okay, on the fifth string, and then five, five, three, five, three, and then five slide to seven, and you go to the original chord. So it's and then okay, it's the beginning lick, and then I do this. Okay? Because Mark Knopfler actually does this lick in the original song, so I added it to the arrangement. So, so it's uh, five seven five seven. Okay, hammer on pull off, and then seven again, and then eight six on the second string. So it's, and then you have a bar on five, a bar on seven, and a bar on nine. another Mark Knopfler solo lick from the original song. Okay, so it's... Okay, so 7 hammer on to 9 on the D string, 9 on the G string, and then 7 on the 3rd, 9 on the 4th, and then on the 3rd string, on the G string, you have 9 and then 7 slide to 9. So it's that's Mark Knopfler. Um, so we're almost done. You can play this obviously uh, as as long as you want. Yeah, you can repeat the original song as eight minutes long. Um, so you can have fun with it, especially with the verse, um, because you can play it differently every time. And then you have the I want my MTV ending. So okay, I do it like this. Um, it's the G bass, open A string, tuned down. It's the fifth string. And I'm playing five and seven on strings one and four. And I slide them one fret up to six and eight. And then five and seven again. And then six on the second string. Okay, so. Three times. That's it. Three times. It has two different endings. The first one is a bar on three on strings two to five. Okay? And then it's a slide to eight on the second string. And then it's eight again with a bar on five. Okay, so it's eight, five, five, five. And then you have this again. harmonic purposes um, it's a bar on three but I keep the fifth string open okay I keep the G bass it's three five three on strings two three and four okay three five three 
And then I slide to 8 again. Okay? On the second string. And I play 8, 7, 5. Okay? To hint at the original. Okay? So it's... It's the beginning chord. It ends the song. So... Okay? 8, 7, 5 with the open A string, which is now a G string. Okay? So... Okay? And you can also play the uh, original riff, um, the main riff to finish if you want. I think this is a beautiful ending. Okay? Because it finishes on G. This is G5. So, download the tab. It's for free. The link is below in the description. Download it from the Lick and Riff website. So, uh, click the link in the description. Get yourself the tab and get to work. And uh, you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are over 400 lessons free for your guitar enjoyment and education and inspiration. I will see you in the next video. Have fun. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.